Well, today I'm working on a heater that was installed by a contractor in my garage. Uh, power wasn't hooked up yet, so they did the gas connections for me. Um, hung it on the ceiling, and this is what I got. So, uh, hooked up the thermostat last week. Uh, got power run over here so I could run it, so I could have some heat in the garage. Um, turned it on, fired it up, ran it for a little bit. Uh, turned it off, unplugged the power, and left the gas valve on. I went to work. I guess it would have been a Sunday, probably, because I went to work on Monday. Uh, I got a call from Cheryl. She said, I opened all the garage doors. The whole garage smells like strong like propane. So I get home, and I shut the propane valve off. I go get some soapy water and a paintbrush. I start checking connections. I can't find anything wrong on the exterior. I'm looking at everything. All the fittings here seem fine. So I took the side cover off again and took a look at it and noticed there's this funky bent pipe in here that they bent to come out of here instead of running elbows or flex. I'm not sure why they did this, but it's a real super tight bend. You can see it there. So I take the union apart, or I'm sorry, I'll back up. <laughs> so I open it up and I take soapy water and I check this thread here and it's bubbling like crazy. There's gas leaking out of here. So I call a local contractor and tell them I'm a little upset. I'm lucky I didn't have some kind of explosion, right? Uh, fortunately, I didn't just leave the furnace running at that time. Um, I had unplugged it. So uh, after a week, they put me on a call list. We'll make it when we can. After a week, um, I decide I'll call and see what's going on. They haven't called me. Nobody showed up. I call in, they said, yeah, we put you on the call list. I said, you mean to tell me uh, you do an install, it leaks propane, a customer reports it to you, and you put them on a call list. Not even a call back, not a, we're sorry what happened, nothing. So today I'm taking it apart because apparently they're not coming back to fix their own mistake. I pull the union apart here. And guess what? It isn't even tight. It's uh, no wonder it's leaking. I mean, it's ready to fall right out of the fitting. It never got threaded in there. So I guess watch who you hire. I don't know what's going on here, but used them in the past, but not a good experience this time.